Hello friends, welcome to the second tutorial of professional Vinci's SCADA and S7200 course. Uh, in this course, in this second tutorial, we will see how we can send the data from P SCADA to PLC and how we can receive the data from PLC to SCADA and how we can generate historical data and how we can export their historical data through uh, trend control we will see in this tutorial first of all we will make simple program like uh, i'm moving one value from one tag to another tag like md20 to md13 means md20 whatever the value received from md20 will transfer to md30 so I just download this program into PLC. Okay. And uh, you can see in uh, PC system, I will go in screen and I will pick one trend. Okay, this is trend in which we will show the data. Okay, here I will pick one slider and I will connect one tag from PLC to this slider. We have generated MD20, so MD20 I will pick and connect data type real. Okay, now what will happen? Whatever the value I will change from the slider, it will send to PLC through this tag. Okay, now what we want to do is I want to generate one data curve. Here I will generate one data log. Okay, this data log will store the data in database. This data log has different can be a different logging tag. So I will connect this logging tag as MD30, which we have generated in PLC. So MD30 will connect here. I will again change the data type real and change. So what we have configured right now. We have configured one slider. That slider will send the data to PLC through MD20 and PLC will send MD30 value to historical data and that historical data we will connect to this trend. So double click on this trend and go to trends value and from this data source I will connect that logging tag that we have interconnected with md30 okay so now configure is completed and what i will do is i will just compile it okay i will just compile it and i will go to online plc value and change the mod display format tag decimal so i will start the graphic runtime Okay. In this graphic runtime, you will see one trend and uh, this slider. In this trend and this slider, you can see there is one return option is there, ready. Ready means our trend is connected to the historical data. Even you can see here, all data connection established means our configuration is perfectly completed. Now, what I want to show you, see here, I am changing the value from here and the value change in PLC also. So, slider is also configured properly. Okay, see sir, 27, then uh, 58. So, value is coming here properly. Now, I want to show you that how we can drag and drop the value. See here, you can see the value is up and down up and down up and down properly so this uh, this tool is useful move the trend area and again i if you click here the trend will stop and again click it will start now here if you click this uh, left arrow configuration dialog you will see many option is here the option is very simple Suppose you want to change the trend color, then trend color will change like this. 
the second option you can insert or remove the toolbar suppose you want to export the data means whatever the data since last one hour you want to transfer then you can transfer using the export data so you click and see here export data is coming so i will just click export data and in export data i will make different path different path export data and csv format so by just clicking whatever the last uh, you can see here our trend start from around uh, 1140 and till now whatever the data we have we will see in uh, in our uh, export data so what we will do is picture and you can see here empty trend view in empty trend view we can see the data you can see here trend value start from 11.33 and the value change 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 and at last data I want to check is 122737 second is 58 value. See this 58 is come here. So our configuration is completed. We have achieved the historical data uh, in our WinCC SCADA. Uh, this is can this uh, tool can be used if uh, you want to see the whole SIP production data very easily. Okay. Thank you for watching this tutorial.